Hey, what is going on, Doom Clan? How are you guys doing today? My name is the Broman or Doom Broski, and today's gameplay you guys are gonna be watching is an absolutely ridiculous 265 to 4 game on the map Yemen, and it's brought to you guys by Doom Phasm, and it's an absolutely ridiculous gameplay, guys. I I know he will be in this like building the whole game, and a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, this is the easiest thing to get ever. But uh, you know, he was live streaming this, which is one thing, and another thing. I've tried this myself and I suck. Maybe it's just because I'm bad. I mean, if you're a good player, maybe you can do this. But, you know, this is still impressive. 265 kills. Absolutely insane gameplay. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, definitely check out Phasm's channel, guys. He has some insane gameplays over there. Like, some of the best on YouTube. And if you're a fan of gameplays, then you're definitely not going to be disappointed with his channel. So, definitely check him out, guys. Link will be in the description down below. I highly recommend you check him out. Highly, like... Super high recommend it, so hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay like I said, and if you do enjoy the commentary, I'm here for you guys to give a gander if you feel like it. So, today I want to talk a little bit about YouTube versus real life, because personally I find that YouTube takes up a large portion of my life, and I just think that a lot of people who do YouTube, you know, it takes up a lot of their time as well. Uh, I mean, if you're trying to get successful with it like I am, I know, I know I'm not a money whore or anything, you know, I do want to... You know have a good channel size and stuff like that I'm not you know in this for the money I was doing YouTube for two years or a year and a half before we even made a penny from it so I would have probably quit before then if I wanted it for the money but anyway I got a little bit off track so <clears throat> back to what I was saying you know YouTube is something that we should take as a hobby more than a job I know a lot of the, you know these people join YouTube with the mindset of making money from it and obviously making money from it is an absolutely awesome thing I mean Making money from playing video games and posting videos on the internet just sounds amazing, doesn't it? And the truth is, it is. It's it's really amazing. It's really fun. And, but it does take a lot more time than a lot of people would imagine. Especially if you're trying to do well on YouTube. You're trying to make the best quality videos you can. Uh, it's really important that you you know take time out of your day to put effort in a video or something like that. Because if you don't put in the effort or your video is just not good quality, it won't do that well. Um, you know... Sadly enough, there are, you know, the big channels out there that somehow got a little bit lucky. Their videos aren't the best. I'm not going to say any names. You know, people have their bad videos. You know, you guys could totally think my videos suck. That's okay. Everyone has their own opinions. But um, it's definitely important that, you know, YouTubers put in the time. And the hard thing about putting in time in your videos is there's a real world out there that you need to do stuff in. And, uh, you know, just recently I got a job. I'm working 12 hours a day every day of the week except weekends of course so every weekday waking up at 6 in the mor no 5.30 in the morning getting home at 7 at night and uh, I just don't really have that much time to do YouTube anymore and uh, you know I'm still making videos I'm still posting consistently and stuff like that but uh, I realized you know once I get into the real world out there I originally before I got a job I'm like oh, I'll just do a job and YouTube at the same time I'll, I'll be able to pass with this and I know my hours are a little bit ridiculous but, uh, you know, I want to hang out with friends, I want to do stuff, and I want to do YouTube. And before I had a job, I could, you know, go on Xbox, get a gameplay or something, then post it with a commentary, and then I'll have the rest of the day hang out with my friends. But, you know, now that I have a job, or for someone that's in school, you you got to focus on school, you got to focus on YouTube, your friends, you just, there's a bunch of stuff you got to do. And basically what I'm trying to say is for those of you guys who are doing YouTube right now, you gotta find a way to balance it with your real life. I know it's addicting, guys. Like, I was in this, like, I'm still like this. I really want to make videos all the time. You know, I always want to be making videos. Always want to be posting it. And holy moly, that was a big kill feed. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I just want to always be making videos. Always making the best videos that I can, you know, specifically. And it's hard when you're, you know, shortened on time. And there's a lot of people out there who, you know, they don't have the time to make the videos. And uh, unfortunately, the real world is a thing, and we got to pay attention to that. YouTube is just a website where we post videos, and honestly, uh, doing this and making money from it, it's hardly anything. There's no way people can live off of this unless they have, like, a massive channel. Like, I'm talking massive. It's You need to be getting a lot of views to be making enough money to, you know, pay your bills and stuff. So never think that YouTube can be a full-time job for you. Because even if you are successful, let's say you have 2 million subscribers. Like, what would you do if that's all you did? You know, you flunked out of school. You're like, yes, I'm a famous YouTuber. I'll be able to live off of this. 
but then all of a sudden, you know, something happens, maybe YouTube shuts down, maybe all your subscribers hate you all of a sudden, and you lose all your viewers and stuff. Then you have no job, you don't have a very good education to get a good job, and you're sort of screwed. So you gotta find that, you know, balance in between doing YouTube and doing real life stuff to, you know, set you up for the rest of your life, because if you don't prepare yourself for YouTube not to work out for you, because, you know, it might work out for you, but you gotta always be expecting that it won't, and always have some kind of backup plan, or, you know, have YouTube, you know, just to do something in the background while you work your real job in real life, because, you know, like I said earlier, YouTube is a hobby, it should be done as a hobby, it's a fun thing to do, and I highly recommend you guys start a YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, you know, if you have the proper equipment and everything, but uh, I, I do want to let you guys know that it's important that you know it does take a lot of time and that it's important that you balance it out with your real life stuff because obviously you don't want to fail at life and you know, it, it's just, you guys, you guys know what I'm saying. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary and the gameplay. Hopefully, you know, maybe you learned something. I don't know if I really would have taught you guys anything. Maybe it was all pretty much common sense, but I feel like uh, maybe some of you guys might have learned something. If you guys were planning on starting a YouTube channel, just uh, remember that it does take a good amount of your time if you're going to try to get into it seriously. So just uh, keep that in mind, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, like I said. Uh, Phasm's channel will be in the description down below. Uh, definitely, guys, you gotta check him out. I, I swear, like, you won't regret it at all. And uh, if you did enjoy the commentary, once again, check me out if you want to. Doom Clan is always available for a subscription. It's free, so do it, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.